the Void Omni Oculus Hunter build somehow just keeps getting better. It's my favorite build in the entire game because it makes you quite literally, by every sense of the word, invincible. With infinite survivability, infinite invisibility, and now infinite healing, this setup is better than it's ever been before. And the best part, there is not a single seasonal mod needed for all of this to work, meaning that this build stands the test of time. So allow me to show you how this invincible masterpiece all comes together. Right after the 67% of you that aren't subscribed, at least consider clicking that free button down below so that I can show you all of the best builds in the game until the end of time. This build all begins with the Omnioculus exotic chest piece, which in addition to granting a second smoke grenade and 50% damage resistance to you and allies while invisible, also refunds 50% of your melee ability energy for every ally made invisible. This means that if you expend a smoke bomb and make both of your allies invisible, you get that smoke bomb refunded in full. This exotic chest piece synergizes incredibly well with the vanishing step and trapper's ambush aspects. On their own, these aspects provide an almost infinite loop of invisibility that is made complete with the addition of a few mods we will touch on soon. But when you factor Omnioculus into the mix, the capabilities of these aspects are enhanced tenfold. The first, Vanishing Step, allows your dodge to grant invisibility for five seconds on activation. However, with the use of some fragments and some other secret tricks, we can practically double that duration. Our other aspect, Trapper's Ambush, transforms our Snare Bomb into a Smoke Bomb, granting us invisibility for five seconds if within the smoke cloud emanating from the bomb on detonation. This aspect also grants access to the Quick Fall Air Move, which I prefer to call the Shadow Dive because it's a much more cool and fitting name in my humble opinion. Do me a favor and drop a like down below if you agree. The Shadow Dive consumes your melee charge on landing to create an enhanced version of the Smoke Bomb, damaging enemies and smoking allies in a larger explosion radius and providing invisibility for a longer duration of 7 seconds up from 5 on the throwable smoke bomb. Additionally, if you activate your vanishing step dodge while invisible from a shadow dive, your invisibility timer will refresh to 7 seconds instead of the typical 5 that vanishing step grants. However, with our fragments, we can not only extend these invisibility durations even further, but also increase our invisibility acquisition methods and add even more buffs to our arsenal outright. The first of our three fragments is the Echo of Obscurity, which grants us 5 seconds of invisibility on enemy finishers. Next up, we will want the newly revamped Echo of Starvation, which grants Devour on Void Breach and, more notably, Orb of Power Pickup. With the new mod system, Orbs of Power are absolutely everywhere, and with the mod build I'll be showing you in a moment, you'll be creating so many yourself that there won't be a single second that you are lacking Devour. Our final fragment is what will push all of our buffs to the next level, an Echo of Persistence, which increases the duration of all of our Void buffs. Specifically, it takes the Invisibility buff duration from our Throwable Smoke Bomb, Vanishing Step Dodge, and Echo of Obscurity Finishers from 5 to 7 seconds, the Invisibility buff duration from our Shadow Dive and Vanishing Step Dodges while Invisible from a Shadow Dive from 7 to 9 seconds, our Initial Devour buff duration from 5 to 8 seconds, and our maximum devour duration cap attainable from killing enemies while buffed with devour from 10 to 15 seconds. Couple all of this with Vortex Grenade for strong damage and zone control, Gambler's Dodge for a smoke bomb refund from our class ability activations, and Deadfall for incredible ad clear and a 30% debuff for boss DPS phases, and you have one of the best all around setups the game has to offer. And the crazy thing is that it only gets better once you incorporate our mod setup, which begins with Reaper, a three energy class item mod that generates an orb of power on weapon final blow after activating your class ability. For those who aren't familiar, this is the element agnostic orb of power version of Reaping Wellmaker. 
the previous bread and butter of the Omni Oculus Hunter. After that is Utility Kickstart, which will refund a small portion of your class ability on class ability activations, providing even more energy for each stack of armor charge you currently have. Obtainable, of course, by scavenging orbs of light that you'll create from Reaper and two other sources. The first of these will be your primary weapon damage type siphon mod for orb generation on weapon multi-kills so long as the damage type of your weapon matches that of your siphon mod. And if you are rocking a void primary weapon such as funnel web, my personal favorite, then you can save a bit of mod energy by slotting harmonic siphon, which will generate orbs of power on weapon multi-kills if the damage type of your weapon matches that of your subclass for a reduced mod energy cost compared to that of the other siphon mods. In our case, this damage type would of course be void to coincide with our void subclass. The other mod we want to slot to maximize our orb generation capabilities is firepower on our gloves, which will create orbs of power on grenade final blows. And because you'll be generating and collecting so many orbs of power, you'll also want to slot two copies of absolution and one copy of innervation on your boots for universal ability energy refund and grenade energy refund respectively on orb of power pickup. This will of course allow you to execute more dodges, throw more grenades, and dive with more smoke bombs which all together creates a positive feedback loop to generate even more orbs of power. You can further increase your ability energy regeneration as well by slotting bomber onto the final slot of your class item for a small chunk of grenade energy when using your class ability. And to increase your grenade uptime even further, you can also throw Grenade Kickstart onto your gloves to refund a small portion of your grenade on grenade activation. And remember that although more stacks of armor charge equals more energy refund, Grenade and Utility Kickstart will still refund a chunk of ability energy on their respective activations even when you have zero stacks of armor charge. Please consider subscribing if you didn't know that before watching this video. With the core setup of your mods established, you can fill in the remaining gaps with stat mods, of which you'll want to focus mobility, resilience, and discipline in that order. You'll also want to slot in resists and reserves mods on your chest, specific to the damage type of the enemies and the activity you are running, or the damage type of your currently equipped heavy and special weapons. Finally, for your helmet, you you can slot both finder mods if running activities solo, a finder and a scout mod if running activities with teammates, or any previously mentioned mods along with powerful friends to aid your allies in maintaining stacks of armor charge. And although that is a lot of information to take in, I've got a Destiny Item Manager link down below that you can use to copy this exact build template over to your Guardian for one-click equips. Two more things you can equip in one click are the like and subscribe buttons down below if you enjoy build videos like these and want to see more. However, knowing the build is only half the battle. Understanding exactly how to use it is what will make you truly invincible. The primary ability loop of this build is the infinite invisibility loop crucial to perfecting your survival capabilities. It begins with a shadow dive for 9 seconds of invisibility, which you'll then follow with a vanishing step dodge once it ticks down to 1 second to not only refresh your invisibility timer back up to 9 seconds, but to also activate your reaper mod to generate an orb of power on your next weapon final blow. As that invisibility timer nears zero, you'll position yourself to instantly kill an enemy with your weapon, generating an orb of power after which you'll immediately hop into the air to activate your air move and shadow dive for another 9 seconds of invisibility. After entering invisibility, you'll scavenge the created orb of power for a refresh to all of your abilities thanks to your boots mods and an armor charge stack. At this position, you are ready to simply rinse and repeat the previous steps with even easier cooldown margins thanks to the stack of armor charge granting even more class ability cooldown from Utility Kickstart. This combo is perfect for extremely difficult activities like Day 1 Raids, Master Dungeons, and Grandmaster Nightfalls, where staying alive is difficult yet of paramount importance. Yes, your offensive capabilities are stifled quite significantly, and yes, your only means of enemy execution are once per combo, however in this fully defensive mindset, it is quite literally impossible to die. But say you want to flip the switch and go aggressive with your endless supply of ability energy refunds. Well, the Devour buff granted from Echo of Starvation will enable just that. 
allowing you to weave in and out of invisibility to drop enemy aggro while you reload and reposition, exiting early to execute enemies in troves thanks to your full HP refresh with each successful kill. Devour also offers a contingency in the event that you expend all of your invisibility cooldowns while on an ability spamming killing spree. You also want to be sure to make use of the Omnioculus damage resistance and ally refunding capabilities to not only keep your teammates safe, but to also receive free, fully refunded instances of invisibility to use for repositioning, reviving, or just going on a straight up rampage. Ultimately, there isn't really anything that you can't do with this build, and it's one of those setups that continues to become infinitely more powerful with player practice. As you become more comfortable with the timings of your invisibility durations, ability cooldowns, and energy refunds, you'll honestly begin to forget what it even feels like to die in Destiny. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that it improves your Destiny experience. If it does, I would love for you to subscribe so I can hopefully continue to improve your Destiny experience with further build videos. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.